Astro? Guys, we're not. We're, we're, I'm not we're racist. Look what I posted in the chat. <laughs> we're not racist, I swear. That's what a racist person would say. God damn it, Riley! Shut, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? We, we broke them, that's what happened. I'm on the search for more rupees, so that way I can get more flippers. So that way I won't fucking die when I jump in the water. Get that! Jesus Christ, get how that. many fuck- Oh my god. Get yeah, out of here. go ahead, then you die. You gotta get it, get it die. Get it die. Get it die now. Get it die! <laughs> You're all going to die. Yes, indeed. <laughs> You guys fail so miserably at trying to sound like Aeon of Dreams. I think they were going for their own evil impressions, like, you want me to go for Blight? The Floof the <sighs> Queen, uh, Queen, you mean, uh... Oh, yeah. shut, you insignificant fool! You got they nothing in this game, you're so pathetic! Listen hey, to you all. I ain't afraid of Kichi, I ain't afraid of Kichi. Look at all of you, just constantly getting at each other's throats. It's quite an amusement. Shit here, Dr. Wolf's scary villain voice. Holy shit. <laughs> Doc has a natural villain voice, apparently. <laughs> really? Because I mean, no, everybody yeah. else has compared him to fucking Bob Ross. Hello, I'm Bob yes, Ross. Need some happy, quiet little clouds. <laughs> He, he can actually pull up a villain voice with very little effort. It's when he's not trying that it's scary. What do you mean, Miss Bliss? Shut up! Yeah. That's exactly what I meant. That, that, Hello, that time. Miss Bliss. See, that's there's trying, and then there's just there's trying. You insignificant fool! And then the there's <laughs> there's that, and then there's that hidden agenda where you sound I evil, but no you don't really sound you evil. Do you get what I what I'm saying? <laughs> I indeed know what you're talking about. It's mm. like, what do I know? I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> oh, villain voices are the best. You get to ham it up and have so much fun. <laughs> that's why, uh, that's why Keyframe likes playing off, uh, villain characters. Why do you think my character in my videos likes to do shit? When I'm <laughs> <down> a <laughs> <laughs> I still love that. Oh my god! I'm on fire! <laughs> oh my god, I'm burning! <laughs> You shot me! You shot me right in the arm! <laughs> <laughs> no, my oh. villain, my villain voice, I have to make it happen. It's not natural, it's forced. And I freaking kind of hate it because it's hard on the throat after a while. Well, the audio effects help a bit too. The audio effect <laughs> definitely helps, but lately I kind of given it, given her more of a gruff, gruff tone. So, now it's more like this, and I have to do it all the time, but it's really annoying because, you know, I have to put a grip in my voice. <laughs> and then after a while, I have to get some throat lozenges because, goddamn, my voice is such a curse. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, what's in here? Oh god, go to hell, Goofy! <laughs> oh. There you go, you just heard Evil Golden Fox right there, people, for the record. Fuck you! <laughs> I wish I could talk as Donald, I can only do the sound effects. <laughs> it must be hard to do that. The thing, Not like, really. like I started being able to do them after I got my wisdom tooth removed. Ah, <laughs> I still love that. Um, okay, while it is kind of like, I still remember watching the uh, Ducktales pilot episode, and I still <laughs> like, yeah, I love the dialogue that Donald had. Like, even though he was kind <laughs> of hard to hear, um, there was a part when they're like. I remember, no hijinks, no trouble, or anything like that. Yes, Donald. I wasn't talking to you. I'm just like, ooh. Can you can you do the Donald Duck like angry scream? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> 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 
the ladder, but it's late at night and I don't want to wake up the house. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Take your drugs! <laughs> Do all the drugs. No, 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 I was giving You're my husband drugs. his share of Allegra. Yeah. I'm like, take your dang drugs! <laughs> take your drugs! Sure, I'll turn that off. There we go. There you go. You're welcome. Did you not clean? we'll be able to see you at High Roller. Yay! Yay, I gotta give you a noogie. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to catch me first, sir. Fuck, fuck, or fuck. Better yet, you're gonna have to avoid mine first. Uh, it's gonna be hard for you to reach up here to do that. Oh, bull! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you make you drop to your knees! <laughs> <laughs> you think my legs can't reach that high? Boy, think again! <laughs> well, I just have to put my hand on your forehead and you won't be able to reach me. Oh, please, that never works and you know it. Stop breaking the silverware! <laughs> Katie? Bliss says to stop breaking the silverware. Stop stop hitting silver quill with silverware. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, snap a doodle. <laughs> oh shit, I just hit like a random button. But Jesus, Master Code, fuck! What'd he do? You heard what he said. He said stop hitting silver quill with the silverware. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be like five minutes. Yeah, he'll, he'll be he'll be right back. Uh, why Hello, do people, people speak for me? Why? I am trying to speak for you, Miss Blaze. Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> but I'm just droopy dog. Hello, all you happy people out there. Oh god, I hated that dog! I know, I did too. I have crippling depression. <laughs> Don't cry. Look at us and sneeze and Peter Pan. Come in, Captain! Kill me! Never. I want you to suffer. <laughs> Are you quite finished? Are I'm never finished. you quite finished? No. <laughs> well, then fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! That's language. Fuck you! What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote you a song. It goes like this. Da -da -dun. Fuck you. You're a bitch. <laughs> oh, you're a bitch, a bitch, a bitch, a bitch. God damn it. I should have used a boomerang right there. Damn it. Come on. Okay, so I'm less than a hundred rupees away. God damn, I keep finding single ones. What's in here? Mm, I don't know if it's a good idea, Bucky. <laughs> don't talk like that again. Mm, talk. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask Aeon to put a curse on you, you know I can, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. you don't want that to I happen. I can't have him break the door down. You know I can. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, put a lock on my door at Golden's place. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. What? <laughs> Ow. You know, I would I would actually go with you, Bucky, because I can't stand that fucking dog. I hate my nose. Don't hate your nose. 
My nose, the left side of my nose. But the nose itches, knows. And it's always irritated and it sucks. But the nose knows. We're gonna have to cut it off. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna have to make you look like the red skull. Ow! Damn it! That's stupid bugs around here. There we go. There's, my there's, there's belly is full of spaghetti and meatballs and marinara sauce. It's full of spaghetti? Yep. Oh, spaghetti. Somebody touch my spaghetti. You know, speaking of that meme, did any of you guys actually watch the act that actual cartoon? Yeah, I, I, I actually have. I, I did once. <laughs> it's so much fun. It is. <laughs> uh, I think Al is probably at work. Yeah. Yeah. At work at this time. You're there or asleep. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks. Fuck! Give me some. I think I, <sighs> I think I shot my voice. Now, Miss Bliss, why would you do that? Shut because up! I was trying to be entertaining, and fuck you, you are not Dr. Wolf. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Bliss. I'm gonna fucking end your existence, I swear to God, Riley, <laughs> in a few more. in like less than a little more over than a month. You're for, dead. A, for a second you're there. Dead, you're dead. For a second there, I thought that was uh, Master Code impersonating Dr. Wolf. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up now. Now you fucked up. You got it fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> Christ, how long have I been at this? How long have you been at this? And, 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 and people need to donate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, you guys. How about hey, I set up a milestone? How about I set up a milestone where at a certain amount I play a certain game by uh, what you guys want me to play? You Ooh, play what? You cut off. Uh, set up a milestone. Like, what game do you want me to play, and I can set a milestone for it? Tetris. Hey, Golden, do you have an Atari Twenty Six Hundred? No, I don't. Damn. Play Tetris. What? Wow, did you want me to play ET? Yes, I have a copy Tetris, of E.T. Tetris, not E.T. I've already done Tetris. I'll do it again. You two have problems with Tetris. Uh, no. He's no. the only one with a problem. He sucks at it. <laughs> You're the one who gets fucking overreactive and fucking triggered. Don't go yeah, telling me I have... Suck at it. Don't go tell... I did that on purpose. You do know that, don't you? Yeah, you, yeah, you naturally suck at Tetris. It's okay. Fuck you. You don't like my impressions. What the fry have a bit of fun is all. Are you trying to be Skeletor? No, that's actually a a unique voice that I came up with by myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love what Vaporeon says. No, Plessy, no more Tetris. Yes, with the Tetris. You're a fucking masochist, I swear. <laughs> then again, hey, then again, I, video. then again, last week I was playing shitty video games, so I'm really in no position to talk at that point. Hey, oh. yeah, you are correct, sir. Make it rain. Oh, nice! You Another one. Tetris. Playing Tetris you against Bliss. Okay, as far as I'm concerned about any like two-player uh, Tetris games, Bliss and I would have to be like in person in order for that to work. We had the opportunity to do that too, but there was so I much going on. I stayed up too late talking to everybody, and then he stayed up too late writing a script. <laughs> yeah, we had stuff to do. We we we, we did stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, honey. Hey. I love you. What's in here? It's a hole. Goldie, go down the 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 hole. Oh, brass polish. Thank you for donating. <clears throat> Thank you, Brassinator! 
Give give all the loves to Brass. He's been helping to keep my sanity yeah. in TF2 lately with vector artwork. What? <gasps> Goldie fell down the hole. Yeah, I, I'm trying to keep track. Uh, one was 50, and there was another 50. 50 or 15? 50. Yeah, the money's for Mimi. I know it's for Mimi. Yeah. <clears throat> that suck at that. Are you guys done with all the sound effects? Jesus. Absolutely not. We're never done. Oh, wait. That's all what that is? Yeah, whatever. Going Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Where is she? Where are the drugs? <laughs> it's my turn. Wait, is that your voice? I have no cancer voice. Yeah, what about it? What are you, gargling marbles? I can barely understand you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my favorite one of those is when he can't stop thinking about sex. <laughs> What's this? Sleeping agents? I thought about bringing those. You'll have to do better. Oh, okay, that could do it. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! Chat with the morning to you, laddies. My name is Golden Fox. Today we are playing Zelda. Boo! Why? Maddie would be so pissed at you. Chat with the morning to you, laddies. I'm Ed Muskie. Today we're playing Zelda. Oh, I have a I have a top of the morning to a video that we. Top of the morning to you, love. Are we gonna have to Are play you guys Zelda? finished yet? Absolutely not, darling. We're gonna be playing a little bit more Zelda, then we're gonna be pissing oh, the hell out of the boxes. That's all right, jolly good show. I'm having a fun, <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I do to piss off my husband? You wanna know what I do to piss off Lars? What? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we like to have the strudel and the schnitzel, and we like to eat a lot of gravy that. and then the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> it pisses him off so much. <laughs> I love it. Stereotyping at its finest. I do it the stereotype and accent of the German accent. Yeah, yeah, it's a very fun. No, yeah, it's very fun. There's a video you can watch at the top of the morning to you. You know, I could have, like, gone, I could have made a much worse, uh, Impression of the Germans. What? I, I'm scared to ask. <laughs> Think about it. No. Do it, Philly. Make me. Do it, Please brain. don't let it be any Hitler ones. Who leaps him? Nine, 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 nine. Oh, it was. Yes. <laughs> You disgust me. Yeah. Hey, you holsters, it's me, Italian dog, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, god. shut <laughs> the fuck up. And I'm gonna go collect some people leaves and drink you some syrup, eh? son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, he does not sound like that at all. He hasn't it I remember one time, just for fun, me and Eliora got into a fight. She was angry New Yorker, and I was angry Texan. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it was like, which one was more angry, or the New Yorker or the Texan? I don't know. We felt pretty even. Oh, <laughs> God. Like, she had the New York Brooklyn accent. I was the redneck stereotype. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Naruto, y'all don't be pissing off us. Uh, Texas are round up our pussy and strapped into a rope and hang it in the town. Get him, get him, get him, get him, y'all. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Hey, Patrick, what? What am I? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas. What's the difference? Nothing. All right, all right, oh, all right. Oh, God. Is it here, you <laughs> mother floppers? <laughs> Well, time to, time to round up the posses and hang you all out on the streets. Yeah, I'm gonna hang y'all out. Gonna hang your asses in the street. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Why would you want to hang posteriors out in the street? Because it would be funny for me and sad for you. <laughs> yes, but why put posteriors? Why put butts in the street? 
Hey, my butts are they? I mean. <laughs> Be careful what you say, Riley. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of pausing. <laughs> you smart butt, you. Oh, thank you. I do have a smart ass, don't I? <laughs> It's like here you have to try to watch my language and every now and then I just don't. And then Riley has to like ruin it. <laughs> Even I more. ruin a lot of things. Tis the life of a boy toy, I guess. I'm sorry? Oh! No, uh, in a humorous way. Okay, okay, good So, uh, since there's. Yeah, Morty! Morty! <laughs> Why does Rick sound like he has a Brooklyn uh, accent? Uh, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Somebody said grab the mushroom. <laughs> grab the shroom. Is that what the kids are calling grab it? The <sighs> grab the shroom. I don't know what they the mean, but they said grab the shroom. Grab the mushroom. Is that what the kids call it these days? I guess Apparently. so. Apparently. Jesus Christ. Still Play. trying to find more rupees. I keep finding singular ones. You know oh. what I hate? What? I hate that I ate too much dinner and now I can't have ice cream. Oh. That's the thing that happens. Still. See, that's the thing that happens to me whenever I like go to a restaurant and after I I'll, like have a nice meal, I'm like, oh god, I don't think I have enough room for dessert. And they have those fucking dessert dishes. It's a fucking cock tease, man. It really, really is. It's like you either order a salad for dinner and then you go all out on the dessert or you go all out on your dinner and flop your dessert because you're not going to have room. I Who had has a nice room for last that? Night. Well, you must have the metabolism of a cheetah, man. I had, I, uh, what I, was it, a, a... I, I used to have, like, a really good metabolism. Now I've gone fat. Three layer of chocolate. You're not cake. fat. You have a bit of a pot belly, but that's it. You, you have a no, no. It's not fat. It's a stomachal enhancement. What the stomachal fuck is that? Belly? I don't know what that is. Your your oh. stomach has been enhanced to a larger no, size. Yeah, point being, Golden, I don't think it's that you're fat. I think you're just out of shape. If you went to the gym and tightened up, that would go away. Yeah, yeah I keep hearing yeah, that all gym. the time. Well, I've seen you. I'm being honest. Well, I know that. I'm not taking any offense to it. I mean, that's just something I have Whereas to own up to. I am overweight. It's not tightening up. I need to work on. I need to lose weight. <laughs> I mean, all I do is go to the gym and then go on the treadmill while watching something on YouTube while I'm on there. Yeah, that's what I do sometimes. Like, the funny thing is, is that whenever I go to, like, any workouts or go on the treadmill, the first thing I do, for some reason, I don't know why, but I listen to The Completionist. It's good for a half what? hour. The Completionist, Yeah. Because, I don't know why, but it's so satisfying to listen to The Completionist when I'm on the treadmill. I don't know why. I just do. I tend to listen to Linkara's History of Power Rangers when I'm on the treadmill. Uh, I just listen to music while I take a 30-minute walk around the block. I tried just listening to music, but that didn't help, so I just watched, like, History of Power Rangers or something. It's, sometimes listening to a conversation it can be more engaging than just music. Yeah. And I'm not they saying that to discriminate like people who enjoy listening to music. I mean, oh, God forbid. No, I mean, now that y'all are mentioning it, I, it's like, why listen to music when you can listen to like somebody's review or something or listen to some of the D&D sessions or... Um, podcast. Yeah, it's a podcast. Yeah, I realized, oh, I could be listening to other things out of the music. I got a new iPhone now. I might as well use it. To you know, the funny capacity. thing to mention is that I wanted to make my own personal podcast, not the kind that you would see like live, but just like a recording of uh, like a topic that I would talk about and people listen <laughs> to it. Like some people do that as a podcast. Like uh, you guys know the channel called This Is Not Compute? No. Okay. Okay, This Is Not Compute has been basically that's how I discovered uh, game modding. Because he's got a shit ton of videos that uh, have tutorials on, like, how to, like, fix up your Game Boy and shape it up into, you know, s certain enhancements. Like, install, like, a screen light on it. Mm. Yeah. I know a conversation I could talk about for what? a long time. What? Uh, like, a, t a type of food topic. Like, what is the worst thing you ever ate? Oh, boy. And then, just, and then we just have stories about the worst thing you ever ate. And I we mean... just have stories about it. Uh... <laughs> 
the worst things I ever ate is usually when I'm eating with Aeon. <laughs> like I told you about the, what was it, the, the 420 burger at the Boston Burger Company. Ooh. I think one of the worst things I ever ate, like, that, like, maybe sits in my stomach, and one that I actually spat up. Because oh. even when I eat something I don't like, I still attempt to swallow it so I'm not rude. But yeah, I know so that. It was so bad that I spat it out. One was a fried Twinkie. Oh! Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Twinkies, they can be delicious, but good god, are they fattening as shit. A they're fried Twinkie? Real. They're not even a real pastry. They're, you know, a chem they're chemically expire. enhanced. Yeah, they're chemically... Oh god, I could go on a tirade about that. That is scary as shit. Yeah, the fact that it was fried, eating one, I kid you not, this has been scientifically proven, a single fried Twinkie... 1,000 calories. All, no, 2,000. Oh, God, that's even worse. Yeah, you'll get your entire day's calories from eating one of those, one fried Twinkie. So when I first tried it, I just took a bite, immediately spit it up, because it not only didn't have flavor to me, you could, like, taste the lard. Oh! <laughs> like, to my mouth and my oh. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> that's horrifying. Yeah. And the other worst thing I ever ate, this was shockingly at a movie theater, unfortunately. Um, it was popcorn. It was buttery popcorn. Something was wrong with it because it tasted like rotten eggs. Uh, something must I have been know dated. I what was wrong with this popcorn, but oh my god. It's like I spat it up, kind of just dropped it into a trash bag. Ben, it's like, no, nope, fuck that shit. Boozled. Yeah. I, I look at my brothers, I'm like, guys, does the popcorn taste funny to you? And they immediately spit it off as soon as I said <laughs> <something>. <laughs> I can just imagine, it's like, hey guys, am I the only one who thinks it tastes weird? <laughs> Thank you! Somebody finally said it! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know the food is not good or not healthy if the grease is sticking to your mouth. Ugh. Oh my god. That's why I hate Law John Silver. It does the same thing. All their food does that. Ugh. There have been some yeah, people who did some. <laughs> no, there have been some situations where people did some disgusting shit. Like somebody, like there are people who took like crackers and they dipped it in butter. Eh, I've heard worse. Yeah, I've heard worse. Yeah. I've heard okay. Worse. Like, how about um, what do you call it? Crackers with uh. I mean, I guess it's a delicacy and a required taste, but, uh, caviar. Caviar? Um, or, um, what do you call it? Uh, not caviar, um, like fish, fish eggs, what do you call it? Escargot? Yeah, yeah caviar, it's fish eggs. Oh, it is caviar, caviar. okay. There's, there, there's, there's caviar and escargot, and, mm, I finally okay. did try escargot, and I have to tell you, uh, I do not like the texture, it's squishy. I'm st I'm still not familiar with that. It's snails. It's snails. Dude. <laughs> okay. Snails that have been cooked in butter, and it, the, the the texture is squishy and buttery and. Bleh. This sounds very very French. It is. It is. French. <laughs> oh, wee oui, wee! Oui. Is it very French? Oh. Oui, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm going to watch some Jerry Lewis. Oh, oh. Okay, Boom. when I say twink, I think of twink from Rainbow Bright. I don't think of the snack twinks. Well, no, that's because there's a difference between a twink and a twinkie. Yeah, twinkie is just that, a twinkie, a snack, a very, really, really unhealthy, bad snack. And a, twink thought, just twink. And a thought just occurred to me, twinkies are the name of those little, um, those little miniature twinks that Mimi made. Yeah, they are based off my boy, my pet boy Twink. Yep. Oh, uh, Twinkie! You just gotta figure that out. <laughs> of course. No, you I've I've been fully aware of it. Right there, aren't you? No, 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 no. Like I already know about the name. You know, you call them Twinkies. No, it's it's that I just remember like oh yeah, because I was like I was just explaining the difference between a Twink and a Twinkie, and then I'm like oh shit, that's right. There already is uh, a name of Twinkie. Well, Brass just shared some interesting fact. Funny enough, he says the idea of eating snails first came from England. Thanks, you British know? Ninja. 
No, 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 no. He's blaming British Ninja for the idea of eating snails. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah, hilarious. Where they go, what's all this then? And hello, what's governor. All what's all this? What's all this then? What's Ten this more shit? goddamn rupees, and then I can get those fucking flippers. I've been at this for almost an hour. <laughs> Golden Bliss and Codemaster. <laughs> Golden have Bliss you? and Cold. And then I just wait for your game to crash. Code Master, have any of you ever had frog legs? I have them. Nope. No, I haven't. I'm afraid of trying them. No, try them. They're nasty. All right. Yeah, I will keep that in mind. It, well, imagine combining turkey and shrimp together. That's what it tastes like. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. It's not. It. It just doesn't mix. That is like the only song I like from that series. See, but look at that. We, we've been in a conversation for 15 minutes about some of the worst things you've ever ate. You know, <sighs> I never explained. You know, it's some of the worst. I had never explained some of the worst things I've ever had. Like, first and okay, first and foremost, raisins. I can't fucking stand raisins. <laughs> Doc would have a field day with you, but all right. <laughs> Why? Does he like raisins? He loves oatmeal raisin cookies. Oh, I think we may have inadvertently insulted him from one of our previous streams. Yeah. Because we went on a yeah we went on a tirade saying that. Um, how did Solar say it? There's regular cookies for everybody else, and then there's oatmeal raisin for one human scum. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> It'll be like Mr. Solar Flare in my office now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, so you don't like raisins, but what? What's one of the worst things you ever ate that you thought you would enjoy? Um, I at first I liked it, but then I got sick afterwards. Um, it was spaghetti meatballs, but the meatballs were Swedish, so it had like a very very special seasoning to it, and it was so rich. But later, uh, later that day, um. I started to, like, I started throwing up in my mouth, and I started to have this nasty aftertaste. And I don't know what happened afterwards, but it became, like, a triggered, like, sense of, like, oh, God, I don't want to relive that experience again. I, I think the, the problem was it wasn't the fact that they were Swedish meatballs. I think you just got really bad food poisoning, and it's just bad luck. It happened to be Swedish meatballs. I've had some good Swedish meatballs. If that does suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ugh. That's just rotten bad luck. I, don't no, I remember um, me and my husband went to a roadhouse nearby, and I actually love this roadhouse. They have, like, the bestest rolls ever. I love their rolls. The bestest anyway, rolls. <laughs> yeah. The, bester, the besterest. Damn it. The besterest. Anyway, uh, they were having a, a special deal on a steak and lobster tail plate. And I'm like, I'll go with that. I've had lobster in, like, forever. 15 minutes after I finished my meal, it was straight to the bathroom, and then it continued Fuck. to be like that every five minutes. Oh, I stand corrected. Lars says, no, it was a lot sooner than that. You immediately had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. And then it got so critical that Lars ended up having to rush me to an emergency room. Oh, like, wow. Because I... It, it, I couldn't stop going, and it, I was in so much pain. Ooh. Okay, the, that yeah, that's a doctor, serious. This was at yeah. a restaurant, right? Yeah, it was really, really bad food poisoning from the lobster tail, and yeah, the the doctor wouldn't even let me leave the the room because I was so dehydrated by then. So yeah, that, don't listen here, kids. Don't eat Texas seafood unless you're at the coast. You know. This definitely reminds me of you guys know that show called Res uh, Bar Rescue. You cut out there, Golden. Oh, what was that? Do you guys know a show called uh, Bar Rescue? Yes. You you know what it is? Okay, there was an episode. It reminds me of that one episode where uh, okay, so obviously you know every bar involves drinks, but they also have like food uh, food items. And that's okay. just, that's definitely nice to have because when you get uh, when you drink you get hungry. Yeah. Yeah, and that you helps. Need you need something to help absorb the alcohol. 
Yeah, and what they like this one restaurant they have, they make us uh, they make their own form of gumbo, but the gumbo was made so bad that um, somebody who literally is from the uh, the region of gumbo, where uh, originally from, I think it was Mississippi or uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. New and, Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. And he tastes it, and he's like, this is ice cold. And then later, he's puking and throwing up in the bathroom, and it turns out every customer who tries their gumbo gets sick. Oh, my God. And um, what's his name? John? Uh-huh. He is so pissed, like, how dare you get people sick? Close this place down. This bar is closed. Like, he was furious. I, I have to ask, did they show what was in the gumbo? I would have to take a look at that. It's been a really long time since I saw a clip of it. But holy <laughs> shit. Like, wow. I don't, They're serving I don't actually watch the show. I've heard of it. I never watched it. But I've watched similar shows like restaurant impossible and hotel impossible so i figured this was the same thing kitchen nightmares um, yeah kitchen it, nightmares. it's it's oh pretty much God. it's pretty much that concept that it, there's you know there's a certain business in peril and it turns out it's because of bad uh, bad business practices a bad bad management or mismanagement or and pride issues yeah uneducated i a lot of the time Holy i hear shit, it's uneducated the, yeah. It's like these are good people, but they're uneducated some most of the time. But then you have those that are just blatantly ignorant intentionally just to save money and they don't care about their customers. I hate those people. Yeah. But, yeah. Gumbo so gumbo typically has is a roux with rice and sausages and meats and seafood like shrimp. Okay. So, so if, if that can the only way they, that that gumbo could have been really bad is one if it was extremely outdated hence why they said oh my god it's cold two the meat was really bad and three the shrimp was really bad and it's it's actually not hard to get seafood to turn bad if you don't have seafood at the right temperature uh it will quickly grow bacteria finally i've got the flippers my quest of getting the flippers is finished. This was one of the most tedious fucking quests that I have done in this fucking game. I love this game, but Christ. He got the flippers. Yeah, now I can journey my way up to getting uh, to the third dungeon. Fuck. Oh somebody, oh, somebody asked, what is the best restaurant food you ever ate? Oh, BJ's. <laughs> 